Hi, this is Sid Ziegler with the Outsports Jock Talk Vlog. I'm here in beautiful Big Bear, uh, just a couple hours away from LA. Lots of trees and animals, clean air. It's amazing. Coming up here, uh, you can see the layer of smog that sits over LA as you drive up. Um, 7,000 feet up, it's just beautiful. 80 degree days, 40 degree nights. Uh, it's just beautiful, tranquil, serene. Uh, but I got some bad news yesterday. Uh, there was a gay flag football tournament in Chicago, the Pride Bowl, this weekend. Uh, by the way, congratulations to Phoenix for winning the tournament. Uh, but there was a player, I guess, yesterday, Friday, the first day of play. His name is Jorge from Michigan. Played with the Michigan Panthers. And uh, he had a heart attack and died uh, at the fields. And it's something that you, I guess, in the back of your mind, you know could happen. A player dying at a, a recreational tournament, but you kind of never plan for it. You never think about it. What, what happens next? And I was trying to think, what would I do if a teammate died in the middle of a tournament? Would I want to go on? Would I want to keep playing? And I don't know. I guess the Michigan team did keep playing, uh, but I could respect either decision. I mean, one of your teammates, one of your best friends dies on the field or on the sideline, wherever it is, in the middle of a tournament, that's tough to get over. I don't know. I, I don't know what I would do. I would, part of me would like to think that I would keep playing in his honor. Part of me would like to think that I would stop playing because at the end of the day, when you're talking about the death of a good friend, playing a football game just isn't that important. I was talking to Jim Bozinski, who's you know my business partner with Outsports, and he would want his team to keep playing if he died. But if Jim died, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I don't, A, I don't know if I would want to keep playing. B, I don't know how well I would be playing. I'd be rather distracted and unprepared to play. So I just don't know what I would do. I don't know if I could keep playing. You know, I, if I died, I would want my team to keep playing, right? I'm just what everybody says that. Um, you'd, we want life to go on for the people who are still living, but at the same time, the people who are living have to kind of deal with what they're going through about the death. I remember Brett Favre famously played, uh, I believe it was a Monday night football game, maybe Sunday night football game at the Raiders, you know, a few days after the death of his father. My heart goes out to the Michigan Panthers and everybody at the tournament. I heard that you know the game stopped for almost an hour. Uh, it's That's tough, man. That's tough. We talked to a football player who's played for 20 years and had never seen that before. Played football for 20 years. Never, never seen that before. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, so my heart goes out to Jorge and his teammates and his family. Uh, and I look forward to seeing his teammates and giving them a hug at the uh, Gay Super Bowl in October. Uh, anyhow, that's it. I'm headed back to LA in uh, about 12 hours, leaving this beautiful, uh, serene place. Uh, but I'll be back. So take care, and uh, we'll talk to you later.